sweet Doc Martin friends and welcome back to today's video. <laughs> going to be talking about what to do when you want to purchase your first pair of Doc Martens. I've been wanting to do this video. I think that it just kind of came to me thinking about all the experience I've had in purchasing my own. Uh, I did also do a video on kind of like how to maneuver wearing your Doc Martens as well and I can link that one down below for you. We should just go ahead and get into the tips and tricks I have for you all to go ahead and take the deep dive if you are thinking about purchasing your own spectacular pair of Doc Martens. So let's get into it. So the first tip I have for you guys is to scout your nearest Doc Martin store. Now, this can be a little difficult. I know they're few and far between. But if you have one that is close to you, I do recommend that you either call them or definitely visit them. It is still a good idea to try to scout out your nearest Doc Martin store just because you're going to get the real authenticity of it and the experience. But if you don't have that option, if one is too far away from you, there are other options available that I will talk about later in this video. Number two, scout the Doc Martin website. Wasted it on me. If you haven't already, get a feel for the styles that you love the most. So I'm just going to show you guys briefly some of the styles that are their main pieces. Now they do have outliers like the harness boot I just reviewed. I feel like that's an outlier boot. Like they don't generally make something quite like that. I do believe they just released a boot that I actually want to get. It's on my wish list. That is the same eyelid as those. Don't quote me though because I didn't look into it. But again, there are boots like that that they throw in um, that they occasionally release. So if you're looking for those types of boots that are sold out or maybe they don't have that style anymore, maybe some of the ones I have reviewed, you can go on Depop, Poshmark, Macari. They do have options on there if you guys are interested in that. Okay, that aside, let's get into the different styles. I know you got hands of stone. Just the regular, what I would call the 1460 sole. I'll show you guys these in comparison to the true 1460 boot. Here is the sole on these. And again, I feel like they're almost identical. If you can kind of tell, I don't know. Almost identical. Mm, yeah, I would say they're pretty much identical. So this would be like the 1460 style height. Again, some of these are probably the most comfortable Doc Martin boots. And I feel like these are more like the originals. So if this is your vibe, I think of like artsy bohemian a little bit when I think of this style, but can definitely be like whimsical goth. But love, love the 1460s. You can't beat them when you put them on. They just effortlessly flow with everything. So again, if this is your style, this is an option for you. So the Beck sole, this is a bit higher than the 1460 sole, but it's not a platform. I'm looking for something that's more mid-range, but it's still really cute. Uh, this is definitely for you or a little bit more subtle. So this is the Bex Soul. They also have the Quad Soul, which is featured on a lot of their platform boots. I would almost say that the Quad Soul is similar to the one that's on the Jaden boot. Although the Jaden boot tends to be, I feel like a little bit higher, but again, is there really much of a difference between the Quad Soul and the Jaden boot. That's all I gotta say about that. I just wanted to show you guys a comparison so you could get an idea. Maybe help you decide on what you like. But again, quad sole, Jaden boot. They pretty much have the same sole. And if you're like me and you like a really high platform, this is the Jaden Max. Uh, so this has the super duper large platform sole on it and Honestly, these styles are my absolute fave on the DL. Love the height of these, love how badass they look, love how extra they are. They just make a statement with any outfit. So if that is your vibe, then this is definitely the height for you. And you can also think about what eyelet you want. Are you a classic 1460 girl and you want the eight eyelet? Are you like, 14 eye are you 
and over the knee girl like we're getting up to like the 20 eye boot which by the way i just ordered that one and this is the three eye the five eye so if you're getting any jaden boot it's an eight eyelet they're an eight eyelet the next tip I'm going to give you is if, especially if you don't have a Doc Martens store near you, is to scout out your nearest journeys. There is a... ...where I became a Doc Martens lover myself, and they do get all their shoes directly from the vendor, so you know their quality, you know if they're coming directly from Doc Martens. Do shoe stores, I feel like that actually does that. You can go in there and try them on if you need to, and still get the same effect talked about before in prior videos is to make sure that you have the right socks. So if you're buying a pair of Doc Martin boots and you're not sure if you have the right socks, purchase a pair of socks to go with your boots. For the love of God, do not wear the wrong socks because you will never want to wear your Doc Martens. I underestimated this myself early on in my Doc Martin journey and that the absolute no socks are any slip-on socks. Now I know you might call me a fool for even thinking I could have done this, but one time I did and I did it in my Jaden boots, the worst boot to break in yet in my experience. You won't ever wear these with the duck ones. Not wear socks that are this length either. These are not a crew, not cover enough of your ankle, you will blister your ankle. You absolutely need to make sure that the boot is covered above the top. Options that are awesome a thick fluffy sock long and you can pull them up as high as you want or scrunch them down these are super thick keep in mind that this is probably the ideal sock if you're going to go with an 8 or a 10 eye there are socks that i find i love they didn't try doc martin socks until very recently and i will say that aside from these socks right here doc martin brand crew socks I can't stop reaching for them. Like, I don't even want to touch my other socks. I say they made these so good to wear with Doc Martin boots. For some reason, I didn't think, like, I thought they were just hyped because they were Doc Martin brand. These crew socks particularly, like with the Doc Martin logo on them in white and black. Chef's kiss, if you want to be the most comfortable in your Doc Martin's boots, you need these. Second are thick long socks. Also, socks like this work too that are a tad bit thinner. These are textured, so I think that helps a little bit. And that a textured sock, even if it's a little bit thinner, still does a really good job of making your boots really, really comfortable. Next tip is to know how you're going to style them. I get it, Doc Martens is kind of one style, but Doc Martens is also every style. You can even get into the boho realm with Doc Martens in some of the ways that they make their boots. Yield boots, for example, like my Shrivers and my Leonas, I do see those being boho. Obviously, we know Doc Martens are extremely versatile. They go with pretty much everything and can pretty much level up any outfit. You want the pair that you're going to reach for the most. So think about different ways you'd style them and if they will fit your aesthetic. Last one is kind of an obvious one, but I still want to put it in here, is to try on the Doc Martens. Like I said, if you don't have access to a Doc Martens store that's near you, by all means find your nearest journeys, try different styles on. I mentioned this in my prior videos many times. I want to make sure that you are finding the size that's right for you so that you will wear the boots and that they will be comfortable for you. Don't give up on Doc Martens. Make sure that you know your size. It may take some trial and error, may come easily, but know your size, find your size, find your size in each style that you like. Okay guys, that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit, this little sit down video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would of course appreciate all the support and yes, I will talk to you guys in the next video, which will be Thursday. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.